We are learning that Philip Paul is bankrupt. He filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy in July. The criminally insane killer is more than $85,000 in debt. All of it, credit card debt. KXY 4's McKay Allen live with details. McKay, he owes a lot of companies a lot of money. Indeed he does. 11 credit cards, 8 different companies. We are learning he had these credit cards open, most of them at the exact same time. He owes $85,094.82. Now he opened most of these credit cards when he was staying at the Hotel Carlisle during the roughly two year period he was there in downtown Spokane. Now according to Paul's bankruptcy filing, Paul had three separate credit cards with the Bank of America. He owes them almost $25,000. He had another card open with Citibank. He owes them nearly $13,000. U.S. Bank, too. He owes them over $17,000. He also had a credit card from a local bank, Sterling Savings. He owes them around $8,500. Now, Paul's only source of income is Social Security. He has about uh, $958 coming in a month that he collects from the government. Now, normally in a Chapter 7 filing, like Philip Paul's right here, 37 pages, they sell off assets and take someone's income to pay for uh, the debts, to uh, make up the restitution for the bankruptcy. But Philip Paul has none of that. He says he has no assets in this filing, just a $958 Social Security check every month. Now, we asked, asked the uh, banks today what he bought with all this money, with all this debt. They wouldn't comment on that, nor would they comment on why they gave a criminally insane man multiple credit cards. Reporting live, McKay Allen, KXOY 4HD News.